Hey everybody, welcome back to uh, another kind of a tutorial. Today we're going to be focusing on Sheik's victory pose from Smash 4. So it seems like the windmill is a super popular move in video games and in anime and TV shows. So I was looking at Sheik's moveset and um, it's a lot more bendy than I remember it to be, if I'm being completely honest. And the one that I did for my Smash victory pose video yeah, that's not fully true to life, so that's my bad. The way we're gonna do this is I'm gonna do it like how I did it over in that video, but this is gonna be version point one. I will try it normally with this little backbend. Yikes. All right, so this move is actually split up into three different parts, just like the Bayonetta one. A roundhouse kick, a coin drop, and then the kip up. All right, let's get started. So we're going to be starting off the roundhouse kick. So with the round kicks, it's really important that you want to stretch and make sure that everything is really limber before you throw your kicks. I'm not going to be going over the round kick in detail, but rather just going over on how Sheik does it herself in the pose. The way she does her round is less like a round snap kick as you commonly see in TKD and Karate, but more of a tie kick in which you continue the momentum so that pulls you around. So with this kick, you want to break through the center line and continue that follow through all the way around. A tip that helped me a lot is by pulling the same side arm opposite of where your kick is going. This helps to counterbalance and also throw up a quick parry. With this style of kick, you want to make sure to kick past your target and not to retract it once you make contact. Remember, when practicing kicks, always spot your target. Alright, cool. So next is the coin drop. We kind of covered this in the Bayonetta video. Alright, some tips and tricks for this one. So one thing that will help your air swipe is by taking a piece of paper, ideally square, so that you can start visualizing it on the ground. From here, you want to go 90 degrees, so on each side of the piece of paper. Once you start getting used to that, you can start doing a full 180 degrees, just like so. This helps you get balance on your arms while you're going around. Once you're done that, you can try going three quarters of the way. Then eventually, you can try going all the way around. The longer you hold it, the better and easier it's going to be for your coin drop. Next thing I really want to hammer in is having that stab position in front of your body, kind of right here. You don't want it back here because you could break your arm that way. So you want it in front, just like so. And make sure you do that push motion. So again, we're going to come down and we're going to have that arm in front, just like this. I'm going to slow the next couple of clips down for study material. See how my legs are always open? It's important that they don't close up so that you can keep the power going. Both of my legs are actually kicking as I come down into the drop with my right leg leading the spin. You finally get used to the coin drop, you want to make sure your upper shoulders. That way you're not on your lower back and you won't be slamming your back on the ground every single time. The last part is just getting back up from a single coin drop. So an easy way to do this is getting your bum, sticking it out and pushing at the same time. So at this point, we're pretty much done. Um, you just have to do the pose at the end. But because I really want to try that back bend, we're going to go into the kip up. Alright, so kip ups are a little weird. Uh, you want to plant your hands back down and you want to make sure that you have a good kick from your back just like so. So one thing you really want to work on is having your legs going up. That way when they come an arc around, you want to kick back up and push at the same time. A good way of getting momentum for the kip up is kind of rolling down onto your bum and then onto your back from standing. So you want to kind of go up and then sit down on your bum and kick up, just like so. So just like all moves, this does take a little bit of practice. But train safe, train smart, and try not to break anything, please. So now it's just gonna be a compilation of me trying to do it with that back bend and bridge that she does in her actual victory pose. I realized that I actually gotta get into a head spin position before I initiate that bridge and that kip up, but my body doesn't like moving that way. So, stuff like this happens. <sighs> Alright, so, um... Yeah... 
I need a better back. If you're not following me on Instagram, follow me on Instagram. It's right here. Uh, I'm gonna be trying this move again. The bridge is a really big part of this move, and my bridge isn't very good due to a shoulder injury that I have sustained over the years. <laughs> again, if I get 10k subs or that Bayonetta video gets a million views, I'm going to be doing her entire move set in full cosplay. So, um, like, share, subscribe. I can't believe I just said that. Cool. See you next time.